Boolean Ohen. So, um, when you just want to assert the general truth of a statement, you can use sha. Okay, it sort of means yes, but you can't use it all the time. Okay? If you don't know what, how to say yes and no, use sha and niha. But, okay? So, sha adurchi lehen said she to herself. Nach e antrua e. That means, isn't it a pity? Literally, isn't it the pity it? <laughs> okay, nach e antrua e. Okay? And we'll, someday we'll, we'll look at those sentences in more detail, but when you want to say something is something or isn't something, you repeat the pronoun e or e. So, nach e antrua e. Isn't it a pity? Gurwantu and Duish Warshin, that you won that large prize. Gurwantu, the word ban has a lot of meanings in Irish. Um, in, when you're talking about money and things like that, it means to win it. Okay? So, wan she, wan tu, wan, yeah. Yeah, gurwantu, that you won. And Duish Warshin, that large prize. Duish is a prize, more is big. It's uh, lenited after a feminine word, so duish war, shin. Blian ohin is a year ago. The word ohin means ago. So how would you say, uh, is anyone, shaftin is a week, so how about a week ago? Shaftin ohin, okay? Or three blian ohin, three years ago. Okay? Na blian ohin, years ago, okay? So, sha adurchi lehen. Nach e and trua e. Nach e and trua e. Gurwantu and duish warshin. Gurwantu and duish warshin. Lienohin. Okay. Number 16. Shin e and rod a hyol er wohr de avlasahu. Or two in this case. Shin e and rod a hyol er wohr de avlasahu. So, this was supposed to be on the next page. Oh well. Um, so that is the thing, shin and rod, a hyol that's sent. The word shol means to send, okay? Um, the word shola, um, S-E-O-L-A-D-H, is address. So if you ever see a form within Irish, you see shola. So it's the place you send something, shol. Boher is a road. Um, Avlas is basically something like your... your bad for you, <laughs> okay? Devlas is the road that's bad for you or led you astray or <laughs> sent you, you know, to perdition or whatever you want to think, okay? Um, that's, that's sent you on the road of your bad, okay? The road that will destroy, that will ruin you, okay? A couple more examples. <laughs> giving. Um, er, er Walter Devlas. Er okay. So I'll give you a couple, uh, the next page we have a couple examples. Um, the word korla is advice, okay? So the way you could say she gave me good advice, you would say she gave advice of my good to me, okay? Hog she korla melasadom. Hog she korla melasadom. So lasa is the good one, okay? Lasa is the improvement or Good. It actually also is what you glasses used to mean fertilizer. Also, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, but korla melasa is the is good advice. It's advice for my betterment. Okay, and the opposite of that, hogshi korla mavlasa dom. Hogshi korla mavlasa She gave me the advice for my ruin or bad advice. Okay. So the av there is a prefix that kind of means bad. It's only used with certain words. Okay. Um, so the main sentence, Shin and Rod a Hyol er Wohr Dev Lasahu. And that could be two or who in that case. I'm just used to it being who more. So, okay. Um, verse 17. Tatu Imaha er Andraulas, Ol Agus Ragarnia, Mra Gal Vlacadori, Agus Fiantas, Shin Eid Boon Agus Bar de Helenish. Okay. Talk to Imaha, you have gone, okay? Erin Draulas is to debauchery, to go. Talk to Imaha Erin Draulas, okay? Basically, just wild the band in, I guess, okay? Okay, all is drinking, I guess, Ragarnia is revelry, okay? Mara, women. Gyal Vakadori are bookmakers or bookies. Basically, it's Gyal is a promise, 
and Glock is to accept or take. So if people who take your promises or your bets, okay? Yeah, gal Glockadori or bet takers or bookies, okay? I guess fiontas is wildness. The word fiarn is wild. Shinied, those are boon agus bar de hail. Um, boon is the base and bar is the top, so boon agus bar is the whole thing, okay? And sail is, uh, actually it's in sentence in A down below, and sail is life or the life in Irish, and of life or of the life in Irish, and tail. So this is a feminine word, and so that's why it uh, gets a T. Sorry, is I, sorry, it's not, it's a masculine word because it gets a T in the genitive. And another word for revelry is? Oh yeah, just going around and commo getting in commotions and... <laughs> Trouble? Trouble, basically. Wild, wild parties and stuff like that, I guess. Is that Ragarnia? Ragarnia. Yeah. Ragarnia. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so we kind of went through this a little bit earlier, so the example of Ansagert and Antegerch no. is the priest and of the priest, okay? And, and sail and tail, life and of life. Yeah. So the masculine words that start with S, get the T on them in the genitive after un, okay? So let's try reading these. So tatu imaha andralas. Ol agus ragarnia. Ol agus ragarnia. Mra. Mra. Gyal vakadori. Gyal vakadori. Agus fiantas. Agus fiantas. Shin yed boon agus bar de helanish. Shin yed boon agus bar de helanish. Okay. And there's two pronunciations for women. It's either mra or mana. No. You can either pronounce the N, mana, or you don't really pronounce it as an R, mara. No. Okay. I'm trouble with that. Okay. Gyal <laughs> Okay. That's easy. Okay, number 18. V tu awadnis faras nur vi ort de vaha hehru. So you are much better off when you had to learn your living. Um, first of all, the expression to be well off, um, sentence A, tashe gomahas. So he is well off. Tashigamahas. Literally, he is he is well from it, or he is well off of it, or something. So he's well off. I guess you have the same expression in English. Tashigamahas. Um, so that's V two iwadnis far as is the same idea. V two you were iwadnis far is much better. Literally, far better. You were far better. Um, iwad means far. Nis far is better. Okay, um, and it wasn't as far us. You were much better off. Okay, nur a v ort when you had to. Okay, so one of the ways you say in Irish to have to do something is something to be on you. Okay, so for doing something to be on you means you have to do that thing. So nur a v ort when it was on you. The vacha is your living or your life a hechru to earn. Okay, there's a word. Seher is a work. Like a, like a work of art or something, say her. So a hehru is to basically the idea that you're going to be working and earning it, okay? So, the vaha a hehru. Okay, so sehri is to earn something, so a hehru to earn. What does the vat mean? It's still? is far. Far? There's an expression that it's glossy in the crick iwad, so the hills are green far off. Yeah, far, yeah. far up hills are green, so Iwad is far, okay? Um, so a couple more examples of Iwad is the V2 Iwad is far, okay? He's far us. So um, a couple of examples more of having to do something. So they say, I have to stay at home today. Ta orum fanap sawalya in you. So literally, it is on me to stay at home today. Okay, I have to. Or I had to throw it out. Vi orum e a hechavamach. Vi orum e a Literally was on me it to throw out. <laughs> okay? E a hechavamach. Okay? How about you say I had to eat it? Vi orum e a hechavamach. Vi orum e a How about I had to eat a sandwich? V orum capra aifa. So it was on me a sandwich to eat. V orum capra aifa. Okay. So 
Um, it's the number 18. So, V2 Awadni Sfaras. V2 Awadni Sfaras. Nuara V or Tavaha Hehru. Nuara Tavaha Hehru. Okay. Hehru. Okay. And number 19. Hogshi Nabrogat in Laba. So, she took the shoes from the bed. Hogshi. Hogshi, she took Nabroga, the shoes. A single shoe is Brog, and Broga are shoes. Jen Laba from the bed. Okay. Jen. Jen. Yeah, it's the same Jen that we had with uh, um, we had earlier with when you ask someone, you ask from them. Okay. Did you say hey crew or hey crew? Yeah. Okay. So uh, number twenty. Anyeni me kupante dich. Will I make you a cup of tea? Anyeni me kupante dich. Anyeni me kupante dich. 